excited about our women on basketball team because we preach handling adversity and you handle a lot of adversity but you're not used to having the player that's acknowledged as your best player on the team be told that you're not, she's not going to play 10 minutes before the game. Lesser teams would easily have folded up before the game even started and I was just really proud that our players gritted out a good win against a, a solid Pac-12 opponent and a 7-1 basketball team. So it's just a great win for the women that did the great job and everybody contributed. Catherine had a big night, and um, but everybody did. I mean, everybody, Rico had a, a big night, Anna Martin had a good floor game again. I think she had eight or nine assists, so everybody. Deanna Ortiz coming back was huge as well. We didn't know if she was going to play. It was a game time decision by the medical people that she was allowed to play, so I'm thrilled that she was available to us tonight. Can you talk about your defense there in the first eight minutes of the game? The, the, our defense? I mean, they came in as the, as the defense of juggernaut, and we don't get much credit for being any good defensively because we score points. We value scoring points, and we do believe that you and understand that you get the ball more when you defend. So I think we're a better defensive basketball team, and sometimes our metrics, our numbers, our measures say that we are. So I was just, I thought our team did a great job of, of you know, holding them in check early and creating some turnovers and getting us into a flow where we realized that we could score the ball because you know there's a you know there could be a skittishness there when when you're losing somebody that puts up a lot of numbers for you or capable of putting up a lot of numbers. Catherine, how did it feel not having Keisha there and how do you think you and the rest of your teammates kind of formed to create those points of place? Well obviously we really missed her and um, you know, I'm just really proud of the way that everybody stepped up. Brittany Rinko got to the bucket and got some really big baskets and made some, you know, easy plays for herself. And they didn't look easy, and I'm just glad that she knocked the shots down too. But like Coach said, Anna had a lot of assists. I think we were just really looking to share the ball and make that extra pass and kind of get them out of what they wanted to do defensively. And that's hard against a good defensive team like Arizona State. But um, I'm, I just think we did a good job moving the ball and, um, you know, getting the open person the open shot. Efforts. He assists. He's really unselfish. Yeah, Anna. Anna is such so much more than just a scorer. She's, <laughs> she's been, she just walked by waving. You know? <laughs> um, you know, I was just a shooter. You know, she's just, she is a scorer, and yet she. You know, we're trying to impress upon Anna. We want her to score. You know, don't misunderstand. But this coach loves people that scores the ball, and at the same time. You know, what I'm really proud about Anna and Keish is they've, they've done their scoring here at DePaul University, never taken many more than 13 or 14 shots. And, and a lot of people that score a lot of points are taking 20, 25, and 26 shots, which starts to become almost 50% of a team's shots. So Anna has been a big-time scorer, and she will finish a little better than she did tonight. But she had a, a great – she had six assists the other night against um, – against, um, Princeton Tuesday, and then she had a big rebound game against Princeton, and then she had the eight assists tonight. So once she starts putting it all together, the scoring with the assists, that's when players really make other people better, and that's the sign of a great player is when you're making other people better. Catherine, could you talk a little bit about the emergence of your outside jump shot? I, I mean, I kind of I got in the gym and tried to develop more of a, a game than just a back to the basket game. And I knew that I needed to keep developing my back to the basket game because we needed someone that was going to be able to go inside and get buckets. So um, I, I just tried to get in the gym and shoot a lot more. And <coughs> today just happened to be one of those days where our guards were drip, dripple penetrating and, cut and bringing their, my defense in to suck them in. And then I was available on the perimeter. So just tried to knock down the open shot when it was there and pass the ball when the shots weren't there, you know, get it to open people, do whatever you can do to help the team. She did a great job of knocking down those open shots. But, you know, she also bought a bing, bought a bam down around the bucket, too. And those, are, those are some big key buckets around the hoop as well as the step away shots. And that's what we want our post players to do step away and play and, and, and then post up and play.